over to Ohio. The Ohio Attorney General filing a lawsuit against Norfolk Southern after last month's toxic train derailment. The suit seeks civil penalties, costs and damages after the hazardous waste contaminated air and water in nearby areas. Joining us now is the Ohio Attorney General himself, Dave Yost. Mr. Yost, thank you for being here today. Uh, this lawsuit was inevitable, I think. What makes you think that you have a strong case against Norfolk Southern? And do you think this even goes to court or will that company decide to settle? Well, I think we've got a great case. Um, there is obviously liability for the spill, uh, damage to our environment, our economy. Uh, and our goal is to make sure the long term, the people of East Palestine are not forgotten. Now, does this go to trial? Uh, that's a good question. I met last week with a team of uh, high ranking officials from North and Southern. Uh, and they seem to be actually kind of contrite and interested in owning their responsibility. Um, uh, perhaps this does settle, but we first need to make sure that we know the length and depth and height and width of this thing um, so that we've done our due diligence. Your governor, uh, Mike DeWine, was on with Martha McCallum on the story yesterday. She was asking about the citizens and their investments there in the community. Listen here. There needs, frankly, to be a fund established uh, by the railroad to make sure that, uh, you know, everything is covered uh, for people in uh, East Palestine in, in the future. And if they sell their house, and if they sell it for a lot less, you know, who's going to make up the difference? That's something that, you know, really needs to be taken care of uh, in a, in a, 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 a settlement uh, fund. All right. I feel like the people of East Palestine, Palestine, they've been through so much. And one of these has been the questions of what is going to happen to the investments that they've made. And there's been a lot of miscommunication. Can you clear up for them what you're trying to do or what is happening there on that front? Well, it's important to recognize that our lawsuit uh, covers public wrongs and does not... Um, eliminate or, or uh, trump, if you will, the uh, private lawsuits that have been brought for individual as opposed to public damages. Uh, that being said, uh, I've already had some initial conversations with lawyers from the other side about uh, setting up a real estate compensation fund for exactly the kind of situation that the governor just mentioned in the clip you played, um, the delta between what the property was worth before the accident and whenever it gets sold. Obviously, today, uh, it's going to be pretty hard to sell your house or your business in East Palestine. And Norfolk and Southern is responsible for that. They ought to have to pay. And we're going to make sure they do. What do the residents need to know about potential scams or spoofs? As unfortunately, in a situation like this, when you are stressed and vulnerable, you might look to something and say, oh, okay, we, we have a, a lifeline here. We have hope. Uh, but they need to be careful. And I'm sure you're keeping an eye on that as well. Yeah. Uh, and so for the, the residents of East Palestine, I, I, you know, I have had the same advice for the last month. Be careful what you sign. Anybody that's offering you a piece of paper to sign, you can bet they had a lawyer look at it. You should, too. Um, and for people that want whose hearts are going out uh, to the people uh, of Eastern Ohio and want to donate to help them, um, uh, please be careful to research the charity that um, is asking you for money or soliciting you. Uh, you can go on to our website at the Ohio Attorney General's office, uh, protectohio.org, uh, and look up the history of charities that are supposed to uh, register mm -hmm. with the Attorney General's office. Dave Yossi, Attorney General of Ohio, you've got a big job, an important one, and the new lawsuit. Thank you for joining the show today. Thank you. It's good to be with you. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.